What cleaning business documents you need to get commercial clients? Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com. You know, when we think about the documents that we need to get commercial clients, uh, that documents that they may ask us for, uh, we got to make sure that we have these. So to begin with, we have to make sure that we have a business license. Now, it really is going to depend on where you live. Um, you know, some states will require that you have a, a, a service contractor license. So that's the first thing you want to do is just check with your local, uh, uh, with your your local uh, state small business administration. They'll be able to tell you if you actually need a, a business license to operate in your state. So that'd be the first thing. Now, something else that's very very important is that we have to have um, insurance. So when we talk about our general liability. That is insurance that is going to cover us in case our clients get injured or if we were to damage something. Uh, something I would recommend though is that in your general liability insurance, you may want to add, put some additional in, uh, insurance on there, such as lost key. Uh, that's very important because you know if you were to lose a key uh, to a facility, uh, it could cost you hundreds or if not thousands of dollars to have it rekeyed. Uh, in some cases, you know, I've had uh, had cleaners drop the keys down elevator shafts. Um, you know, however that happens, you know, you got that little crack there in the in the, the base of the elevator, and you know, it's happened three times to uh, three times for us. The key the, drops it out of their hand, and it falls right down down in that crack and goes down in there. Luckily, we we're able to, you know get down the elevator shaft and retrieve the keys, but if we wouldn't have been able to, well, that's where the lost key uh, insurance would have been very helpful. Uh, that way it's not a, a lot of money out of pocket. Now, another uh, insurance that you need is you need auto insurance. So if you or your staff are driving to work or driving to locations, and if they're driving their own cars, uh, then you want to make sure that you have some coverage for that and that's generally called hired or or non odor auto insurance coverage um, so make sure you have that because you know otherwise you, you and your staff will not be covered if they're driving to work and they're they uh, get in an accident um, so keep that in mind now the other thing is too is that some of the larger cleaning companies uh, they may be required by law to have commercial auto insurance. So again, you know, this is a conversation you got to have with your uh, with your insurance agent. You want to make sure you check all the boxes. So, uh, so those uh, those two make sure you you talk about. Now, something else that you can talk to your uh, insurance agent about is bonds. Now, every company is different uh, as far as your commercial clients. Uh, some will require them, some will not and generally it will depend on the size of the account. Uh, that will depend on what type of bond you may have. Um, so, you know, if you're doing any government work, generally they're gonna require that you have a license or a permit bond. Uh, that's just to, uh, you know, to cover them in case of lawsuits. Uh, so you can, get, you can count on that. So if, you're do, if you are doing any government work, you already know that, that you do have a bond in place. Now another bond that they may ask for is a security bond or a janitorial bond. Now what these are for is to, to reimburse the clients uh, uh, if your business fails to deliver the service that you promised. Now I've, I've talked about this in other videos of where uh, some of these building service contractors or cleaning companies are going out there and promising the world and then not delivering. Well, you generally will see these security bonds or these janitorial bonds in larger facilities they require it because of just that fact because if you go in there and make all these claims and you fail to deliver the services that you promised well they're going to terminate you and they're going to collect on that bond so um, you know that's uh, something you got to keep in mind and the last thing that you want to make sure of is that uh, you have workman's compensation now the workman's compensation is going to help cover injured workers and you know every state's different there too. You know some states will require that you don't need a workman's comp unless you have five employees. Uh, and whatever it is, you know, check with your own state to find out what that is. But here's what I think about that. Even though, let's say, I, if I were to live in a state that says that I don't need workman's comp until I reach five employees, 
Well, think about this is, okay, when one of those employees does get hurt, um, who do you think they're going to come after to pay the medical bills? So uh, I think you're just better to have your workman's comp in place <coughs> from the first, from the, uh, your very first employee. So that way it's in place and it's there to protect you and your business and uh, it will take care of your workers. So there you have it. Those are some of the documents that you need, uh, you know, in order to get some commercial uh, commercial uh, cl accounts. You know, like I say, some of your some of these uh, uh, prospects or clients are going to require this for you to have even before you start the bid process. So you may receive an RFP from a government government agency that's uh, you know requesting an RFP, a request for a proposal. And one of the requirements is that you're going to have to have these bonds and, insur and, and insurances. So keep that in mind because these, these do add to your cost of getting the account. So hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, it was just a short video, uh, you know, with uh, some very important information. But if you liked it, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you haven't already subscribed to our uh, uh, YouTube channel, you'll find uh, hundreds and hundreds of helpful videos on how to start and build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see ya.